In episode 4 of Spellbound, Amy and Lola pay a visit to Aunt Ginger and Cece. This is followed by an admission that they are wizards and in need of help from Aunt Ginger. At first, Aunt Ginger acts as though she is completely clueless about the subject at hand. Yet, she loses her composure after learning that Cece broke the protection spell cast upon her. Following this, Aunt Ginger cautions Cece and the other wizards to stay quiet about the matter. At this point, Aunt Ginger is so paranoid that she tells Cece she'll follow her around everywhere. Cece at first objects, but later gives in. Cece takes her Aunt Ginger with her to school. The dance instructor finds Aunt Ginger accompanying Cece quite absurd, though he lets it pass. Mia then puts Cece through some rigorous training. Cece wishes to stay at the school dorm with her best friend Simone, so it somewhat simplifies her ballet training. When Cece asks Aunt Ginger for permission, she refuses to let her stay at school. But Amy and Lola make a proposal to Cece. If she can get certified as an official wizard, they'll help her out. Cece sees no other option and so she agrees. Meanwhile, Adrian is teaming up with the new employee to drain Cece's powers and break him free. He is then able to get access to a few wizard books and the employee learns a few tricks. Cece casts a spell on Aunt Ginger with the help of the Wizen duo. Then, Aunt Ginger casts a spell, making Cece a full-fledged Wizen and agrees to let Cece stay at the school dorm since she is under her spell. Cece is overjoyed to finally have her own room at school. Amy and Lola visit her and provide her with a magical door in her wardrobe so she can quickly and easily travel to any place she wants to go. The episode review in episode 4 of Spellbound. The Wizens persuade Cece to cast a spell to persuade Ginger to let her stay at school. This would make Cece's routine less demanding. The only catch is that she has to accept to join the Wizen group. Like the previous episodes, this one has a lack of depth. There doesn't appear to be any nuance or redeeming qualities in any of the characters. The supernatural elements are the main focus of the show. It's clear that the writers had some ideas but they're not that engaging. The episode is difficult to sit through because of the poor writing and much worse execution. As the season progresses, we can only hope that the show improves. In its current state, though, the lack of depth makes it tedious to watch.